Hello everyone, welcome to Caroline's Craftery. Today we are going to make some index cards. Now these are, I believe, yeah, there's six by four. Now you could do any kind of size, uh, just cut a piece of card stock. I've got lots of these bigger um, index cards, recipe cards, whatever you want to call them. So, I've got this idea from Rhoda Burks. She has a YouTube channel. I'll leave her link below. I love her channel. Um, she supplies me with lots of inspiration and stuff. So, this is where this idea came from. So, let's get started. The first thing I want to do is I want to just add some little bit of ink. I don't want it like white, white. Um, you could definitely stencil on this or decorate it after. My plan is I want to decorate them after when I'm going to go put them into a journal. Now I've got a whole bunch of different kinds of fabric. I've got tons of scraps. Like this is only one little portion of stuff that I pulled out. But I cut my squares one inch square. Some are ripped, some are not. They are not perfectly one inch square either. So, um, the, you got a little leeway on what size these are and just what, what you want to colors and whatnot. Now I am going to use art glitter glue. I find art glitter glue works fine on um, cloth as long as you don't put too much on it and you don't need much on it. So I'm just putting glue on half of that and now I'm going to put it down. I'm going to go out of the corner a little bit and then I'm just going to Put that down ever so lightly. Now I'm going to come and I'm going to glue the back. And this then gets folded over. Now I'm not sure if this is how Rhoda actually did hers or not. I have not watched the video for a while. But it's the same idea, it gets the job done. So then I'm going to take another one. I'm going to try using all my different types of fabric before I repeat. So now this one I'm going to put, and I'm going to overlap maybe a quarter of an inch. Like you can tell this one is not square and that's okay. Okay, let's put glue on half. Try not to get any glue if it's um, frayed a bit then like that. I try not to get it on there because I do want it to fray. And then I'm gonna, like I say, I'm going to overlap about a quarter of an inch. Try to get my points up to the edge of my card. This sort of is a little time consuming, but once you get going, it always takes longer on camera to do it. And then I'm just going to push that over. And then, and we are just going to rinse and repeat this. Definitely not a hard thing to make. Again, I'm going to overlap it, get my points sort of where I want them. 
put some glue on the back. Now there's probably faster ways of doing this. But do check out Rhoda's video on this. Okay, let's do a red one. Just going to show you what I do with this until I get to the end. And again, overlap. Get my points up to there. Makes a really cute card. Great way to use up little scraps of fabric. You could even use lace with this. Just thought of that. So that actually might be a Good thing to try actually with this. Okay. Here we go with another color. Now you could definitely use the same color of fabric. But I thought this way it would go in so many journals. And then, like I say, I'm going to decorate mine when I go to put it into a journal. Then I could add elements to it that go with the journal. Okay, let's do a blue one. Now, with this one, because we're right at the end... I'm going to go ahead and glue the half anyways, even though some of it's going to hang over. Now with this one, I'm going to put, overlap my quarter of an inch or so. And then here. And then I'll just trim that off. Now I'm sure that you could figure a way so that all your squares were even. I didn't bother because it just didn't seem that important to me. Trim that off. Trim that off. Now we're just going to keep going. Go ahead and do a purple one. Now with this one, I will show you what I'm going to do with this one. Now I, again, I want my even, and I'm just going to put it so it's kind of covering all that little blue piece. And let's glue the back of this. Now I'm not going to do all the way around this. Because it's kind of the same thing. Now I'm just going to keep going and I'm going to keep adding these all the way around using each of the pieces. Like so I've got these two to go yet. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and put those on. Okay. And again, same thing. Overlap my quarter of an inch, line my corners up on the edge. Now you could do all of one side and then go to the back. And um glue all the backs. I did make a sample tag before I got going on this. Let's just put this last one and then all the rest of the colors will be repeats. 
you could cut a whole bunch I've got a whole bunch of one inch squares here so I do plan on doing a few let's put that where I want it there you could easily cut enough kinds of fabric so you would only use one type of scrap but I just cut up whatever I kind of had in that bag okay so now we're starting so we're gonna put the blueberry over here now the same thing with the corner Put my glue on the half and then I'm going to put this down and let's going to make sure I glue this one the right way glue that down and then this can get cut off so that way I can see what I'm doing and then now I'm going to keep going around I'll use this one next and that's just me thinking that I need to do it that way but like repeat the, the colors of the fabric so that gives you an idea now I've got one that I finished here and I stitched around it I hand stitched it but I think it turned out really really cute now I'll decorate the plain side and I'll leave the line side for journaling on so when I go to make a journal I could put stuff on here um, you know make a little collage of some kind um, just to add things that are gonna go with so let's say I was gonna do a bird journal I could put a few flowers with a bird I could do a little bit of stamping um, I could have used a piece of um, scrapbook paper so then this would have been a pattern and this would have been white, um, just a digital kit. I could have used anything, really. I just have lots of these 4 by 6 index cards. But I, I think they're cute. They turned out good. You could hand sew them, or you don't have to sew them at all. Um... I meant machine soap but you know me I like to hand stitch but check out Rhoda's channel and I hope you enjoyed this little project hope you will make some I think they're cute and we will see you in another video soon bye